In this video, you're going to learn how to find two different types of sources in the Central Penn Library databases. First, you'll learn where and how to search for articles, both academic articles and other types of articles. Then you'll learn where and how to search for streaming films. You can access any and all of the library's databases from the Library tab in Blackboard. Once you're on the Library tab, click on the Find Journals Other Online Resources subtab. On this sub-tab, there are links to all of the library's databases. Different databases contain different types of content and are sometimes subject-specific. In the box for each database, there is a brief description of what the database contains. Since the first part of this video is about finding articles, we're going to look briefly at the two databases that have the most articles available in them, EBSCOhost and Gale Academic Wonderfile. There is some overlap between the two databases, some articles will appear in both, but there are articles that will only appear in one or the other, which is why we recommend searching in both databases to find the best articles for your research. We're going to start with EBSCO, which has the most articles of any of our databases. There are a few steps between clicking on the link to EBSCO on this page in Blackboard before you're able to actually search in the database, which is not the case with most of our databases. So you click the first here to access EBSCO. This is the first screen you see after clicking the link in Blackboard. For most searches, you want to click EBSCO Host Web, the top left option, or the top most option if you're on a mobile device. Then on the next screen, you'll need to make another choice. This page lists all of the subject-specific databases available from EBSCO. We recommend clicking on the checkbox next to Select All. Depending on what you're searching for, you will often find useful articles in more than one subject area, so searching all databases within EBSCO will keep you from missing good potential sources. And you click Continue. Now that we've selected EBSCO Host Web and chosen to search all databases, we finally see the screen where we can enter our search terms. We're going to start with a broad term, Restaurant. And click the Search button. Since this is a commonly used word in many different contexts, we have over 1 million results. The library databases each have tools called limiters that help you limit or narrow down or reduce your results to help you find what you're looking for. Some of the most valuable limiters are available in checkboxes over here on the left. The first limiter we're going to use is the full text limiter. Clicking this checkbox means that all of the results you see are available to read now. For this search, limiting to full text only removed about 300,000 results. However, another limiter in this box is going to reduce our results considerably. Now we're going to click on Scholarly Peer Reviewed Journals. Journals in this category and the articles that are published in them are the highest level of academic content. Now that we are only looking at scholarly articles, we have a little less than 9,000 results. Below the checkboxes for full text and scholarly journals is the date range of the articles in the results. For many academic searches, finding results within the last 5 to 10 years is often best. You can either enter a year in the left box or move the slider until it shows the year that you want. We're going to limit our search to the last 10 years. Now we have about 4,300 results. That's still a lot of results, which is not unusual for a generic term like restaurant. So now we probably want to start adding additional search terms, additional keywords to help us focus on what we want. So in this context, we're going to try a type of restaurant about sushi and then click the search button. Now we have only nine results. So that's nine results on academic journals about sushi and restaurant. Another option, if you go underneath the limit to and the dates, is source types. Right now we're only looking at academic journals, but there are many other source types available. So if we go up here in this top part here, it says current search, current limiters, if you click the X, it takes that limiter off. 
So if we take off the limiter for scholarly peer-reviewed journals, now we're back to about 4,000 results. Now we can choose different types of sources. One of the types available is trade publications. So if we do that, now we have 122 results. Trade publications are things named like restaurant hospitality, caterer and hotel keeper. These are for people, trade publications are designed for people who are in the trade or in the industry. And if we take off trade publications, we can also search for news. News obviously is going to be more general rather than the specific audience of either a trade publication or scholarly journal. So now we have 278 results. There are several options to actually view an article in EBSCO. If you click on the article type name itself, then it'll take you to a screen that has additional information for the article. If it's an HTML full text, you'll see the text of the article, or you can also click here. If the article is available in PDF, if you click on the title of the article, you then could click on the PDF full text link over here in the upper left. Your other option, you go back to the results list, is you can also click on either a PDF full text link or an HTML full text link right from the results list. And then it will open it up on your screen. Once you're comfortable finding article, articles in EBSCO, it will be relatively easy to learn how to use the Gale Academic One File Database because the main features are very similar. So we're going to go back to Blackboard, back to the Find Journals Other Online Resources tab. And now we're going to click this first here to access the Gale databases. After clicking on the link to access Gale Academic One file, you see that you are automatically taken to a search screen, unlike when you first click on the link to go to EBSCO. We're going to use the same search term before to start the word restaurant. The biggest difference between EBSCO and Gale Academic One file is the visual display of the results. In both databases, the results list takes up most of the screen. In EBSCO, the limiters, or the tools that let us narrow and focus our search to reduce the number of results, are along the left side of the screen. So here, here's our results list, and here are our limiters over here on the left. Now here in Gale, our limiters, our main limiters are over here on the upper right, and the source types are actually up here on the top, so they're split, where in EBSCO they're all together. Another small difference between the two databases is that while you need to check the box to limit to full text and articles in EBSCO, in Gale Academic One File, that box is automatically checked by default. Another difference is that Gale Academic One File separates out the results by source type automatically. So this list of results is only showing us the academic journals. If we want to find other types of sources, such as magazines or news, then we click on that up here in the top section. Let's go back to academic journals because a lot of times that's what you're looking for. So if you want to search for peer-reviewed journals, like I said before, that's the highest level of academic journal and sometimes your professor will require that, you click on the checkbox here. So now we have about 50,000 results. Just like in EBSCO, we can limit by publication date. Gale has presets for past week, month, and year. A lot of times that's too recent, depending on what you're looking for. So we recommend you probably want to use the custom date range where you do have to pick a date, but you can click on the calendar and you can click in the year. So if we want the last 10 years, we'll pick 2011 and today, and then click apply. Now we're down to 24,000 results. To add additional search terms to the current search, like we did in EBSCO when they added the word sushi, click on the search within button over here under filter your results. And then you put your word, in this case sushi, in the search box that appears and click submit. In this database, we have 230 results from academic journals peer reviewed for sushi restaurants. 
To view the full article in the Gale Academic One file database, just as with EBSCO, there are several options. The Gale database does not have links to the PDF or HTML from the results list. However, if you click on a title in the results list, you can see it automatically shows you what's called the HTML version or the plain text version of the article right when you click on it. If you want to see the article in a PDF format, you can download it. There's a download button here right above the text. There's also one up here in the upper right. Now that we've learned how to search for articles in both EBSCO and Gale Academic OneFile databases, we're going to learn how to look for streaming videos in the Films on Demand database. So again, to access any Central Penn databases, you go back to the Find Journals Other Online Resources tab for the Library tab in Blackboard. Click on the first here to access Films on Demand. Unlike EBSCO and Gale, Films on Demand actually has some films here on their homepage that you might be interested in looking at. But we're going to do a search like we did in the other databases in the search box. We're going to search for a restaurant. Just like the other databases, there are a number of useful limiters available to reduce your number of results. Films on Demand calls them filters. So you can choose different subjects, but we're going to look at the filters here are the ones that are the most similar to the ones that are in EBSCO and Gale and tend to be the most useful. For so you can do format. You'll see in Films on Demand there are segments, which are portions of larger videos, and then there's full titles, which will either be a video in segments, but you can see all the segments, or a title that is not divided into segments. So let's go ahead and do full titles. As you can see, even though the filter box is still visible, it already reduced our number of results to 2700. So copyright dates. In this case, we can't set specific dates, but we can filter within a number of preset ranges. So we'll pick within five years. Again, now we're down to 400 some results. Alt types, just like in EBSCO and Gale, where there's different types of articles, there's different types of films. So we have documentary, lecture, interview. Let's pick documentary film. And then we'll click done so we can hide the filter box and pick a video to look at. Just like in our other databases, there are several options to look at an actual video. If you hover over the picture, you'll see the play icon. If you click on that, you'll go to the page with more information about the video and the video itself will start playing. Your other option is if you click on the title of a video, it'll take you to the same place where you're looking at the video itself and the video will start playing automatically. To stop the video from playing, just click on it and then that'll pause it automatically. If you have any questions about how to use any of the databases, whether the ones discussed in the video or any other ones we have at Central Pen, please contact the library.